Well, over the last few days, the weather has been relatively stable. Uh, we've had really smoky skies, especially today, and that's just due to the uh, really uh, calm atmosphere, uh, lighter winds, uh, warm temperatures, but generally overall really stable atmosphere. We haven't seen the, the amount of growth in terms of acres, but what we are seeing is a continual march of the fire up to that north and east because it is so challenging for our crews to get in there. A little more unstable air, a little bit more wind, and uh, a little bit more temperature. It'll help clear the smoke out, which is good for our aircraft, and it'll help in some of the operations that are going on, but also that additional wind will cause you know, the, the fire to be able to breathe a little better and be able to stand up some of those large columns. With this much fire on the landscape and this much uncontrolled fire, especially, and the dra deep drainages, deep canyons, and the amount of uncontrolled fire out here, our concern is that those thunderstorms are really gonna make it tough to uh, predict where the fire is gonna go and really give it some renewed energy as it uh, keeps moving to the north and east. With those thunderstorms, it can be pushing the fire downhill, it can push it north, it can push it south. It really just depends on where those thunderstorms form and when they would see those downdrafts come out of it and they result in energy and wind that comes from that. Assuming we, do, we don't get any new ignitions out of the lightning and, and thunderstorms that are out there, it will leave us with a new fire perimeter, guaranteed to have some new changes in what this looks like, and then a possibility of just so much more hotter and drier temperatures, so it'll continue to challenge our crews out there.